Black or Latinx, listen to this. Oftentimes you grow up believing that Blacks and Latinos are arch rivals only because we aren't taught any better. But how can we expect to be taught otherwise when our parents and our grandparents have been sheltered from the truth? And the truth is, is that Black and Latinos are not enemies. And in fact, they are allies and have faced many of the same struggles throughout the course of history. We need to address our struggles and unite with one another to try to overcome them. If we were to learn about how African and indigenous people came together in Mexico for the liberation of their collective struggles, then we should get the sense to do the same. And it's time for us to do the same. Shalom. Ka'ala Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Rukal Kodash. Good honors, my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect, who are the house of David reborn again in this generation. And Shalom to the 130 Yasharalim, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage, were known as, and still are, the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about the video we just seen, and how it covers the bringing back together the northern and southern kingdom of Israel. Okay, This video that we just seen was that presenter, uh, he was talking about how the, the struggles of both the so-called Negro race and the so-called Latino race is, uh, is one and the same, right? We have the same fight, the same struggle. Why is that? Well, it's because we are the same people, but we have been separated through different captivities, okay? And we fall under the same curses, okay? So as you can see here on this chart I made, all right, the 12 tribes of Israel, it is made up of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, okay? And yes, we have had different historic events of captivity happen to us three tribes, or us three nations, right? The Negro, Latino, Native Indians, right? But for the most part, as a whole, it's all been similar, right? And, and that, again, like I just said, is because they all had to have happened because they were all prophesied to fall upon us for us going away. Now, an, another uh, thing that that man spoke about is that he said that we aren't enemies, but we are allies. Well, I'm going to correct him a little bit, right? We are more than just allies. We are brethren. We are the same people, right? We come from the same uh, uh, lineage, right? Our, our forefather would be Jacob, right? Or as his name was changed, Israel, right? That makes us the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Because we, because each of us come from one of the 12 sons that Israel had, right? So this is why uh, you're seeing th this uh, happening now. This is why you're starting to see uh, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians starting to come back as a people and hang out, hanging out more with the people, right? Because, you know, historically, in this recent history that we've had in our captivity here in America, you've always seen us hanging out with each other. We tend to live amongst each other. Right? Even though we were trained by our enemies to hate each other. Right? But that training and that divide and conquer mentality has been fading away. And that's because, again, the spirit of the Lord is rising up within us. And this is prophecy. Let's go and read the scripture that talks about this. This is Isaiah 11 and 12. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcast of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Right now, that ensign is talking about this this uh, this Bible, this truth, right? The the truth, the gospel of the Bible, and in 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 that, the truth of Yahweh Shai, our Messiah, and who He is, who He came for, and what His true purpose was. Right, it was to redeem us Israelites, the Negro, Latino, Native Indians. Right, because the Latino and Native Indians of the Northern Kingdom, we, uh, for the most part, were are the true Gentiles, right? That the Bible is speaking of. Now, yes, there's other Gentiles, which speaks about the the heathens, but when it talks about the Gentiles that fell away, that are going to be re redeemed and turned back into the the the, the or basically 
basically being offered salvation again, those are talking about the Northern Kingdom, right? The Latinos and Native Indians, right? And what you're speaking of, and what the scripture is speaking about, how the, uh, it's that the Lord's going to assemble the outcast of Israel. Israel is talking about the Northern Kingdom, the Latino and Native Indians, how we were casted out of the land because we failed to follow the, the old commandments and the laws of the Bible. Right? And the Lord casted us out, and he made us a prey unto the Assyrians, which we stayed under captivity for about a hundred years. And then when they were taken over by the Babylonians, we then, for the most part, took off and, and uh, fled here to America right, with the help of the Lord. And you can read about that story in 2 Ezra 13 and 40. Okay? Now, it also tells you here, it says that they, will, they would gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Because, again, just like the northern and the and the northern kingdom the latino native indians who have been scattered around the world you know but they have not been as scattered as as predominantly and as and as you know as vast as the southern kingdom right judah being made up of the so-called negro uh, haitians and uh, west indians okay the those those brothers the southern kingdom has had it a, a lot worse than us and this is why you, you see them predominantly more in ev around the world more than you see Latinos and, Indi and Native Indians around the world okay but either way the Lord said he would take us as a people and gather us back together right verse 13 the envy also of Ephraim now Ephraim is talking about the northern kingdom as the tribe of Ephraim would be considered the head tribe of the northern kingdom the envy also of e Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines towards the west, and they shall spoil them of the east together. They shall lay their hands upon Edom, Edom being the so-called Caucasian race, and Moab, Moab being the so-called Chinese, and the children of Ammon shall obey them, and Ammon being the Japanese. Right? So you see, this here is prophecy that the Lord is bringing us back together again. Right? And, and how did he do that? Well, he, he did it, like he said, he, he raised up that ensign. Right? The, he brought back the, the prophets of old the, set up, and set up the apostles last. Right? And in doing so, he, uh, <clears throat> he uh, let's see right here. And in doing so, uh, he had a particular job for these prophets and apostles to do. One of them being to go out on the street and preach this truth, which eventually went on to the digital highways, right? With YouTube and, and sharing this truth online. Well, in, in doing that teaching, doing the prophesizing on the streets, the Lord, uh, you know, made a prophecy that he would basically, uh, you know, start bringing the tribes back together with this particular script here that he would basically bring back a stick that would draw us together as a people um, because we were going to be split up and then this is told about in uh, Ezekiel 37 and 15 it says and the word of Yahweh Bashem Yashai came again unto me saying moreover thou son of man take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel his companions then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph and the stick of Ephraim and for all the house of Israel his companions and join them one to another into one stick and they shall become one in thine hand and when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee saying wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these Verse 19, say unto them, thus saith Lord uh, Yahweh Bashem Yashai, behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribe of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. Okay, so you see, this right here is talking about, it's a commandment to the, to the prophets, that the that they would have to put together this device, this stick. Now, what is that stick? Well, that stick, if if you've gone out to the, the camps or if you've seen 
uh, us out on the street preaching around the world, you will notice that there is always uh, some placard, some some uh, board there with the with the twelve tribes of Israel listed upon it, right? And that those twelve tribes is basically listed in these people here, right? Benjamin, the tribe of Benjamin, or the West Indians, the tribe of Ephraim, or the Puerto Ricans, the Manasses, the Cubans, Asher, the Colombian to the Ugarians, Levi are the Haitians, Naphtali are the Argentinians to the Chileans, the Issachar is the Mexicans, Judah are the Negroes, Zebulon are the Guatemalans to the Panamanians, Gad is the Native Americans, Reuben is the Seminole Indians, and Simeon are the Dominicans, right? And and uh, so this right here shows that these people, you know, this was the instruction that these people are one, right? And this truth, as it's been being taught to the world, right, starting around the 60s when Abba Bivens came onto the street and started preaching out on the, on the, the you know, the highways and the byways as is commanded, right? This truth has since prevailed throughout uh, all the world, okay? Now, we are about to, to, to uh, be, be in that end times, like it tells you in the scripture, man, that the, 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 once this truth is preached throughout the whole land, then the, the end would come. And that's where we're, we're getting there, people. This truth is now going around the whole world. And for the most part, the whole world has pretty much already heard this truth, right? With the thanks um, by the power of the unicorn, which is what the Bible refers to as the internet, right? And and uh, and what is all that accomplishing? Well, it is accomplishing. One, is it's, it's to... One, to put the whole world on notice. That means all 18 nations with the, which exist upon this earth today are now uh, been notified of what the truth is, right? Now, they could either choose to believe it, and most of them scoff at it, right? They, they choose, they've chosen to, you know, um, to disbelieve it and disregard it, right? And, and namely for our people, right? One third, meaning one out of every three Negro Latino Native Indians, uh, have heard this truth and are are believing it and are coming back to their original ways, right? Doing the best they can to keep the commandments and also uh, observe the laws, statutes, and commandments and observe and call upon the Lord and the Messiah um, by their true names, right? This also applies to the 144,000 uh, elect of our people who are out there teaching this truth, right? And, uh, and and all that right there is is accomplishing this one specific goal, right? Because out of our, the entirety of our people, the Negro Latino Native Indians, one third plus the hundred forty four thousand of them are going to be selected for salvation, and that is the House of David. Okay. Now let's go and read this. This is Amos nine and eleven. It says, "In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that has fallen." close up the breaches thereof and I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. Now the, the house of David encompassed both the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. That means you know that whole black pride, brown power or what is I'm sorry, what is brown yeah, brown pride, black power, spirit man, that, that is being raised up today. That right there is basically the, the the tip of the iceberg of what you you are going to eventually see which is the raising up of the house of david again right because the lord is bringing those spirits those elect spirits back uh in, into the remembrance to understand that we are one people we are not separated the devil he conquered and divided us right or divided and conquered us all right so i just wanted to get on this video okay i wanted to you know show that little video and show how the coming back together of the Negro Latino Native Indians is all biblical and has been prophesied through the Bible because we are the true Hebrew Israelites. So with all that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukwa, Pradash, that honors my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.